Hey everybody, so Maddie is back. Sorry for the long absence, just kind of wanted some me time. Lots to tell you, so let's go ahead and jump straight into it. I'm getting boobs. So these tiny titties that I, I currently have now are going to be going away soon and be getting much, much bigger. So I have a um, surgery date. I'm getting my top surgery on May 21st at super early in the morning, like 6.30, 30, something like that in California. Anyway, the surgery is happening in San Francisco um, where we went and did the consults. I really, really liked one of the surgeons, so I've decided to go with him. And yeah, he's going to be doing my boobies. I'm pretty excited about it. I don't have all the details of it just yet. Um, I do know, however, that the implants are going to be placed under the muscle, um, mostly because um, I don't have enough tissue and um, like development and stuff to be able to place them over the muscle um, and still make them look, you know, good. Uh, so they're going to be under the muscle. The incision is going to be um, below my boob, like under the fold. Um, just because that's where the surgeon prefers to put it, so I'm totally fine with that. Doesn't bother me a bit. It was kind of where I wanted them to go, anyways. Um, they will be silicone, and I don't have the exact size, but they're going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 385 to like 415 um, cc's, just depending on what the surgeon's final decision is. But I'm happy with everything in that range. So. If everything goes correctly, it should put me up somewhere like around a large C, small D cup. Um, it's really tough to tell because they can't make like cup size promises. Basically, they can only measure you in CCs. So you know, whatever. I have the hiccups. I was, I was drinking a beer while I go, and I drank it too fast, and now I got the hiccups. But like I said, all that stuff will be sorted out at the pre-op appointment um, later on in May. I've got several doctor visits lined up. I have like six doctor appointments lined up. Some of them are going to be remotely done like via Skype and some are going to be done in person. But yeah, it should be an eventful time. I'm really excited. I have waited my whole life for this, you guys, or just about my whole life, um, at least 20 years uh, for this to happen. And it's finally happening. Um, so I, I'm... I'm yeah, I, I'm, I'm nervous and I'm scared, but right now the excitement is outweighing all of that. So, yeah, that's kind of where I feel, where my feelings are right now anyways. A lot of mixed emotions, but overall, really, really excited. I did get the letters from my doctor and from my psychologist. So, the surgeon wanted a letter from both of them, you know, stating that I'm not a crazy person. They agree this is the best decision um, for me as well, and uh, I have their support. So, I got those already. Um, I'm going to send those into the surgeon tomorrow. Um, I'm expecting like my pre-surgical packet in the mail. I'm not sure what all that's going to entail, probably like, all the risks and all that kind of fun stuff. But, you know, I'll show that to you guys when I get it. Also, aside from surgery, guys, it's been a few weeks since I did a video. New hair. Um, trying out something different. Let me guys know what you think of the hair in the comment section below. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you unsure about it? Um, I kind of like it, to be honest with you guys. It's something different. Um, so yeah, new hair. Also, um, much thanks to uh, my good friend Rachel, I am now doing speech therapy, uh, which is, that's interesting. And I'm honestly, I'm, I'm having fun with it. I'm having a lot of fun. I really enjoy going. Um, it's not nearly as scary as I thought it was going to be. I was really nervous. Um, it is awkward. It's it's every bit as awkward as you think it's going to be. Um, like sitting around with a group of people because it's like a group speech therapy class and like doing all these like funny like voice exercises and things like that. Maybe the better I get at it and the more I learn, I'll make some videos um, directed to you guys. Um, you know, for that. In the meantime, if you want to check out some really really amazing. Um, voice diary type videos. Um, one of my like new new friends, new trans friends on like YouTube and social media is uh, Ruby Rose. So I will link to her channel in the description down below. Go over there, watch some of her videos, and make sure you leave her a comment and tell her that Maddie sent you. Um, but anyway, she she really is good. I promise. Um, I'm a big fan of hers. Um, so she's doing speech therapy as well, and she's. Um, actually making videos that, you know, like show you what like the exercises and what she's doing and all that fun stuff. We'll get there eventually. Not in any hurry. Right now, 
all my focus is on boobs and catching my breath. Um, let's see what else is going on. My makeup is smeared to hell, um, but that's okay. I haven't had a cigarette in six weeks, almost six weeks, something like that. February 19th was my last cigarette, so I am officially calling myself a non-smoker and that I have quit. So super proud of myself. Um, thank you everyone for all the uh, wonderful support and kind words that you all had to offer me as I was struggling with that, you know, because um, it wasn't easy. Quitting smoking is not easy. But it's something that is necessary because it's definitely a requirement in order for me to get these done. Can't be a smoker and have surgery. So, you know, the cigarettes had to go because I want boobs way more than I wanted to smoke. So, um, the, the decision was made and it was an easy choice really. So, but thank you everyone for who supported me and believed in me that I could quit smoking. And also just thank you in general. Um, at the time of me filming this, so you guys will probably see it tomorrow, but at the time of my filming this, we have like 1,980 something subscribers. So we're about to cross 2,000, which blows my mind. Uh, I never in my wildest dreams thought that anybody would ever care about anything that I had to say. Um, and that I would basically be talking to myself in these YouTube videos and nobody would watch them. I, um, I'm very honored and flattered. And uh, I want to say, you know, thank you. Thank you so much for all of your support and all of your love. Um, it has really meant the world to me. And um, hopefully you guys have all um, gotten something from these videos that I make. And, uh, you know, um, that, that's all that I could hope for is that maybe they've helped you in some way. But, uh, but yeah, thank you so much um, for all of your support. Um, I, I don't know what else to say. I, I, I'm still kind of like dumbfounded, but I'm so sorry I haven't made a video in a while. My bad. Um, but we're going to pick it back up and we're going to get going again with the videos because I have so much to share. Um, so many fun, exciting things happening over the next couple months, like boobies. And, um, you know, <laughs> I want to bring you guys along for that ride since you've been with me almost since the beginning anyways, so I certainly don't want you to miss it. I also have a lot of video footage I'm still trying to edit from the California trip where we went to the consults. Um, it's just a lot, so be patient. I'll get it to you, I promise. Um, in the meantime, you know, if you guys want to check out some of my other uh, boob videos, like my boob updates and stuff, I'll put the links like over on the side, or maybe that side, you guys should check those out. If you want to see my boob updates, if you haven't already, I would be surprised because they are the most popular videos on this channel and uh, the next boob update that I do will be um, after surgery most likely so um, you guys can check out the most recent one. Um, but anyways you guys I love you so so much. Thank you again for all of your love and support and for helping me hit 2,000 subscribers. Um, I'm, I'm just blown away and I will talk to you all again very soon. I love you all. Be kind and make good choices.